Hello, this video is to show you how to do a net ionic equation. Today we are going to do the net ionic equation of hydrochloric acid and lead to acetate. In the screen you can see the equation is already balanced and now we are going to proceed to do the total ionic equation. So we start with two hydrogen ions which have a plus charge in the aqueous solution plus two chlorine ions minus charge aqueous plus lead to acetate we have to dissociate the lead this has a two charge aqueous solution plus the acetate C2H3 2 we have two acetates so we have to put it in the front is an aqueous solution on the other side of the equation we have the weak acid and a precipitate okay so a weak acid uh, is not going to be dissociated in the solution it acts more like a molecule so it stays together in the net ionic equation so it's going to be 2H2H2H3O2 2 the acidic acid and this is a X plus the solid or the precipitate that is going to be a lead chlorine so I see L this is a solid okay so this has a minus charge as you can see nothing cancels out so the net ionic equation is going to be let me change color, that way you can see it's 2H plus AQ solution plus 2CL AQ solution plus PB charge to AQ plus 2C2 H Three O two aqueous minus, and the other side is going to be the same as you see. C two H three O two aqueous plus the lead chlorine Cl two solid. If we make <coughs> a experiment um, with uh, to try to see if this solution conducts electricity we see that uh, it does will conduct electricity but it's going to be so um, so dim the light that is going to be reflected so it's because we have a weak acid that means that um, they mostly stay together but there are some ions in the solution but there are a few of the hydrogen and the acetate so I hope you like it and thank you for watching